is here for toenail trim. These haven't been touched in a while. He did touch the right foot, um, but had an issue where he actually almost cut the tip of his toe off. So he decided that podiatric care was his best option. So we're gonna work on trimming these back for him. Um, with a lot of diabetics, as himself, um, it makes it very difficult to trim because the nails get really thick. So normal nail nippers sometimes won't fit around them. They also will curve in and become what we call a pincher nail. And it can pinch the skin that's right in the middle or underneath the toenail. Um, that's actually what he did. He got a hold of that skin because he couldn't see it. And that's pretty normal. Even sometimes it's hard for us to tell what's skin and what's toenail. Um, but we do have a much better angle from sitting down here at his feet. And we um, have lots of experience, of course, and really good instruments. So that's why it's a much better idea to let us do it, right? And he's gonna hopefully feel like a brand new man when we're done. A lot of this debris gets caught in there as well. And that's sometimes fungal elements. It's also sometimes really just debris from skin cells or sock fuzz. Um, things that get trapped under the nail and until you remove the nail you can't make them go away. Probably feels better already. And it definitely will when you put your okay. shoe on. <laughs> right? You may go down a shoe size. Oop. I might be taking that piece of you home with me. Right? That's for sure. Okay. One foot down. Okay. One more to go. This one's also growing into the side and can become a problem later on. This is the nail he butchered. And how long ago has it been that you clipped it? A week so it healed but you can see he got the skin right in the middle so from down here I can tell that the nails curving around and I can go in and clip it in an angled fashion to get it out of his skin and also avoid that piece of skin in the middle that could cause him to bleed this one is the same way and I'm surprised he didn't make this toe bleed and see, look, it was digging in so bad there, it actually bled a little bit too when I pulled that ingrown out. Okay. So that's okay, but recognizing it is one of the biggest issues. Um, a lot of times diabetics don't have filling in their feet, and so they don't know it when they cut themselves. Did you feel that when you cut it, or did you just see it bleed? I just saw it bleed. Yeah. If it didn't bleed right away, if you don't have circulation that um, is pretty good then it may not bleed right away and you might not know it for a week a day two weeks um, especially if you're not prone to checking your feet every day my sister lost a couple toes to, do, to diabetes yeah and... you don't want to go down that road right i really don't mm -hmm. toenails are one of the most common issues for losing toes um, people think that it's not that big of a deal and that nothing can really happen but it can you know, my dad used to tell me it's too far from your heart to kill you, which is actually not true. So, we learned our lesson there. Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit of a silver nitrate stick over there to stop that bleeding. And make sure it doesn't get on top of him. And there we have it. The girls will come back in and dremel him. Um, if you like this video, make sure that you check out our others on our YouTube channel. We also have lots of interesting information on our Facebook page here at Lexington Podiatry.